There are a lot of things to keep track of when you start playing Lord of the Rings online, so I thought I would go through the things that I think are important to do when first starting out. Some of these things are geared towards someone that is playing the game for the first time, and others are more general tips that could apply to people starting up an alt. The first choice you have to make when you start playing is to choose a server, and I would say that since this is an MMO, a good rule of thumb is to go for a server with as many people as possible. Overall, this is a good approach, just to make the multiplayer aspect of the game more enjoyable. Just having an easier time organizing groups for dungeons and other group content really contributes to a better experience. This also ties into another thing that I think is worth considering early on in the game. Join a kinship. A kinship can support you with good crafted gear and crafted food that is essential for some of the tougher content. Almost all kins also organize groups for group content and are a huge well of knowledge if you have questions about the game. Interacting with other players will inevitably help you learn more about the game and the easiest way to make friends and start interacting is by joining a kin. Early on when you finish your introduction you will get a package that gives you gifts every few levels. Use these things, especially if you are new to the game and have limited inventory. I would say that saving most of these things you get are a waste of space. Just use them, it's what they're for. The inventory space is one of the things that you should consider upgrading with the lottery points you earn when playing the game. Other than that, I find bank space, milestones and riding traits to be worthwhile early investments. When you get the gift pack you will get the quest to choose a crafting profession. Do this early and start working on it. If you keep working on it as you level up, you will hardly ever need to backtrack to farm materials in earlier zones. And through the profession you can craft great gear and consumables that really help early on. If crafting is not your thing, there is an explorer profession that you can choose. By selling the materials you farm in that profession, you can make quite a bit of gold. So it is at least worth getting that, if nothing else. I personally highly recommend armor crafting or cooking early on because they truly help out a ton. Jeweler can also be quite powerful. Early on you will get access to virtues. Make sure you select a virtue that enhances the stats that are most important to your class so that you don't level a bunch of unnecessary ones. By not interacting with it, the game will start leveling the first virtue in the list and that is not necessarily a virtue you will be using. The same thing goes for your traits. Start specializing your trait trees early on to get a feel for them. Read up on what the focus of the different trees are and then make a choice. You can also always respec in a different tree for free if you are not enjoying yourself. You can also keep more than one trait tree build ready if you want to switch between more than one build. There is a chance that you won't enjoy the first class you choose. So take your time to level up a few of them to around level 10-15 to get an early feel for how they play and behave. For new players I recommend a hunter or a champion. Guardian is also a viable choice, but it is a bit slower than the other two. The hunter is a long range DPS class, the champion is a melee DPS class and the guardian focuses on defense with acceptable DPS. Champion would be my own personal first choice, but most people choose Hunters for their great travel skills and speed buffs. Hunter is definitely the fastest class to level and get going with. With that said, all classes do have their own charm. No class is useless, but some are more advanced and slow than others. You can make any of them work, but some will be tougher to learn. Captains, Burglars and Lore Masters are three classes I found more challenging. If you really want to get the most out of your class and maximize your efficiency, it is worth your time to finish deeds. A lot of deeds will be halfway finished just by questing and going through the zones, and finishing them completely will give you some nice virtue experience, among other things. Virtue experience is always a nice bonus because it will directly tie into your stats. If you want to take it a step further, you can also try to grind out the reputations throughout the game. By gaining high reputation with factions, you get access to buying unique fast travels, mounts and more. You should also make sure to finish the quest a little extra never hurts. These days that quest comes with a mount and the riding skill, 
getting access to a mount as early as this quest allows you to is huge and a massive time saver compared to how it used to be, so make sure to take full advantage of that. Most quests in the game are rather simple in design, and mostly revolve around killing or gathering things, but it is in the quest texts and dialogues you have with the NPCs that the game really shines. Focus on the stories of the quests to find enjoyment in questing. Other than that, there is a string of titles you can get if you want a bit of a challenge. If you avoid dying all the way up to level 20, the game will reward you with titles every few levels. At level 20 you will get the undying title, and I think it makes for a nice early game challenge. If you fail it, don't sweat it, there are much cooler titles out there. I think that's about all I had. I am sure that I've missed a few things, and some of them are probably essential. So if you have anything else to add, please feel free to do so down in the comments. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.